Hello, Super Cruiser. Today we're gonna to learn a tip that will save you tons of time, especially if you have a bunch of repeated rhythms and a bunch of different voices. So for instance, let's say I have a rhythm like this and the top two trombone parts are playing divisi with the bottom on a different line. All of them have the exact same rhythm, but, it'll, but normally it'll take time if I want to just go through and actually create each interval the entire time. So I don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to learn how to just notate the rhythm in one measure and then copy it for all these other ones. So the first step is we're actually going to need to download an external plugin made by Jerry Williams. So we're going to go to his site. Uh, there's a link in the description and the link will take you to this page uh, where you can find the different plugins. I have 64-bit Mac. If you have Windows, that's Windows, but I have Mac. So click that and we're going to search for Rhythm Copy. There we go. Here's the Rhythm Copy plugin. Download it. If you don't know how to install custom plugins, see my video on that. It's just saving it to a specific folder on your computer and then restarting Finale. So then, after we have that, we'll see when that, wherever you, you installed it, you should have JW Pattern Copy Set Source and JW Pattern Copy Create. And I created these custom keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to walk you through that step on how to do it if you want more explanation see my video on how to create custom keyboard shortcuts in the description below. So to create those custom keyboard shortcuts, we're just going to go over here to System Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts, App Shortcuts, Finale 20.5. We're going to click New, and we want this menu title to be exactly the same as what this is. So we're going to do Pattern Copy, Set Source, exactly like that. JW Pattern Copy set source and for the keyboard shortcut I use command shift V or sorry I use command shift C it's just an alteration of command C like you would copy normal things you would normally hit add I already have it and then you do the same thing pattern copy like that I use command shift V again it's an extension of the normal page shortcut you'd hit add I already have it so I'm not going to do that and then you come over here and you can see that here we have the keyboard circuits lined up. So next, all we have to do is we're going to start making some notes. We're going to just play around with a couple intervals here. I'm just making this up. Let's say we want to have it on different staves as well. Doo -doo. Right, that light, nice and easy. We're going to come over here, and I just want to do the same rhythm on all of these. So we're going to hit the shortcut we entered, uh, Command Shift C, and then we're going to highlight these, Command Shift V. And there you have it. It's copied and pasted in all these parts. Nice and simple, not much work. That is how you want to copy rhythms using JW Pattern Copy. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so that we can stay up to date with all the finale tips and tricks.